We're going to demonstrate a two-way analysis of variance in SPSS. First thing you want to know is that uh, the data are laid out in three columns for a two-way analysis of variance. Here we have data from eight people. These are the happiness scores of clinical patients. These are obviously the gender scores. We've got some men and some women. And these are the treatment scores. There's some people that were in a control group and people that were in a talk treatment group. Now again, if we toggle, because I've labeled these variables, we can see very quickly that the men's data is on top, the women's data is on bottom. Control and treatment data are interleaved here in a little bit different fashion. So you've got to be, be careful to get this arranged correctly to get the analysis to run appropriately. To run the analysis, we go to the Analyze menu. We go to General Linear Model to univariate. We're going to be analyzing happiness scores as our dependent variable and both of our other variables are considered fixed factors. Now often I like to ask for a plot so I will say that gender is on the horizontal axis and that treatment is denoted by different colored lines. I have to make sure to click on the add button here before I click on the continue button. From here then I simply say OK and SPSS generates the output. In this output we can see that we have four men, four women, four in the control group and four in the treatment group. What we'll notice very quickly is that there are two main effects, gender and treatment. And we can see what their results are right here. And then we also notice that there is a gender by treatment interaction and its results are right here. In each case we have a statistically significant main effect of gender, treatment, and the interaction. So we'd like to see what this looks like. We can come down and look at the plot. And very quickly we can see that there seems to be very little difference for men, but there's a fairly sizable difference for women in terms of their happiness levels, depending on whether or not they were in the control or the treatment condition. So the definition of a two-way interaction is that there's a difference at one level of one variable, but not at another level of another variable. So we have gender, and it appears that there's very little difference between control and treatment conditions here, and we have a very big difference here. So it's the very definition of an interaction. If we'd like to slice this apart just a little bit further, we'd go to the data menu, go down here to split file. We'd ask to split this file by gender and compare the groups. So we enter the gender variable in here, we say OK. Now we come back to the analyze menu, to the general linear model, to univariate again. We're going to take gender out of here. Just leave the treatment variable there. I don't believe we need to plot anything here, it's not terribly useful, so we'll say OK to this analysis. And now we have an analysis comparing control versus treatment for only men right here and control versus treatment for only women right here. So if we look at our analysis, we see that the effective treatment is on this line. The F is 5, the significance is 0.155. There's no difference between the treatments for men. Okay, that confirms what we saw in the plot just a minute ago, that the difference between men is quite small. We go back here, the effective treatment for women, however, F is 18, significance is 0.051. We'll say that's statistically significant, and that also confirms what we saw in our, fo in our picture a minute ago. Again, these are what would be considered simple effects tests. The simple effective treatment for just men, the simple effect of treatment for just women in an overall two-way design.